Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and today I'm going to do a little something different where I'm going to take you on site to a new home construction project that we're currently working on. We're going to be roughing in for whole home Wi-Fi, an over the air antenna and a couple of drops in a home office. Now I'm not going to be able to actually film the entire process because obviously we have to work at the same time. But I am going to try to capture some of the highlights, some of the things we think about and take into consideration when going forward with a job of this nature. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. Okay, so we're on site, we have our tools in. I just wanna walk you over to the coat closet where we installed the structured wiring cabinet about two or three weeks prior to getting there today. The electricians installed the coax that you see on the left and one Cat5e that's stubbed to the outside for the ISP. Next, what we do is we're here, we're taking a measurement so we can mount the access point in the ceiling, we just want to make sure that it's located somewhere and that it's aesthetically pleasing. Next, we go ahead, once we have all that figured out, and we mount our low voltage boxes for the access points, and we go ahead and we drill all our points for where we have to bring wires down through the top plates. And here you can see I'm drilling one of those locations. And that's the home office. We're going to be running two drops down in that home office. And this is right above the structured wiring cabinet. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't hit any of those wires. Here, Gary's just cutting a piece of two by four for one of the access point locations, again, so that we can get the low voltage box mounted so it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm running some cabling. Now you might hear some background hammering. That's Gary putting up the 2x4 that you just saw him cutting. And when we run cabling, we try to hide it, tuck it away, and keep it as far away as possible from any electric Romex cabling. This not only protects the cable from potential damage, but also protects future technicians that may be working up in the attic from stepping on or tripping on the cable. So now let's take a look at what we got accomplished today. Starting with the main access point, you can see we have the wires tucked and stapled nicely. Let's head over into the office location. There are the two Cat5 cables for the office. You can see they're tucked nicely. Everything's fire blocked and we have the nail stops at the top. We'll take you over into the master bedroom. Again, we have the wires tucked nicely in the access point location, as you see here. I am going to have to go back and get that wire away from that metal plate. Let's head upstairs into the bonus room. We'll show you the other access point location. And again, we have the wires tucked away nicely, ready for the sheet rockers to come in and sheet rock around the boxes. We'll head into the attic now. I just want to show you where we brought up the cable for the antenna. It's a good quality RG6 quad shielded cable, which we have tacked up against the 2x4, just wrapped there temporarily. The antenna will be mounted up top there somewhere. And finally, we'll head back downstairs and take a look at the structured wiring cabinet. We have everything wrapped up nicely until we come back in the future to terminate. You see we have the cables nicely tucked and we fire blocked and nail stopped everything. So I hope you liked that little overview tour of this residential home project. Once the homeowner takes possession, we'll be back to the site two more times. The first time is to test and terminate all of the cables, install the router, install the switch, install the access points, the over-the-air antenna, and an over-the-air tuner. We also want to test the internal network just to make sure everything is working well. Once we have that in place, the next time out will be the final visit, and that's when the ISP comes out to light up the house. We just want to be there to make sure everything gets off to a good start, 
And more importantly, we need to get the PPPoE account information from the ISP tech so that we can enter it into our router so that everything works all together. And again, we just want to make sure everything gets off to a good start. So if you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. I want to thank you for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.